Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, explain about TestNG listeners. Let me answer. Using TestNG listeners, we can listen to the events triggered by TestNG tests. Okay? So in our Selenium automation project, if we have some TestNG tests containing this Selenium automation code and all, and when this test and test trigger any event like the test is passed or test is failed, test is skipped, state test has started, test has uh, finished execution and all these kind of events, okay? When they are triggered, these events will be listened by test and listeners, okay? So why we use test and listeners? Commonly used for uh, logging purpose. And the other thing we can get benefit from test and listeners is uh, taking the screenshots for only the failed tests, okay? For example, in your project, there will be multiple tests, but all the tests will not fail. Only few tests out of this test will fail. Only for the failed test, if you want to take the screenshot, then we can use test and listeners, okay? With the help of test and listeners, it's possible to take screenshot and attach them to the reports only for the failed tests, okay? Collecting the logs, okay? of whatever the events happening in the test and test. And finally, reporting purpose, okay? For generating the reports on finishing the test also, we use test and listeners. Let me practically show you the project and all where test and listeners are used. So this is one of the test and project. Here we have created some listeners. My listeners is a user-defined uh, class that uh, we can give any name, but it need to import a predefined interface known as iTest listener interface. And uh, we have to override this particular user defined class need to override the methods from this I test listener. Whatever the methods you want to override, you can add them here. Okay, for example, on start. When the test execution starts, this particular method, okay, when the test ng test method, for example, in this uh, such test.java, okay, when you run the code, if this particular test method starts execution, okay, if the execution starts, then this particular method in the listeners class will be invoked automatically, okay? This uh, listeners will listen to the events triggered from this test inside this, okay? Such test or whatever the test classes. So, and when it starts, it is generating an extend report and uh, that is when the execution starts, it will generate the extend report. Then on test start, when a particular test starts, this method will be invoked where Okay, we are adding the logs. We are adding the logs to the extent reports here in this case. Okay, in real time, mostly people add logs to the extent reports these days. Then we are creating the test in the extent report, and uh, in the extent report, we are adding the log saying that uh, that particular test execution started. On test success, if the test passes, then this particular method, listener method, will be invoked and uh, it will mark the particular test as pass in the report, test and, uh, extend report and uh, in this particular project and it will, uh, you know, it will add this log saying uh, result.get name that is test method got successfully executed. If it fails, in case of pass, we are not taking any screenshot, but in case of failure, we are taking the screenshot, we are capturing the screenshot only for the failed test and uh, we are adding the screenshot or embedding the screenshot to the extent report and adding some logs to the extent report saying uh, the exception details for the failure of the test and uh, this particular test got failed kind of log also will be recorded in the extent report. Here, when a particular test this skips, we are marking that particular test as skip in the extent reports and we are adding this log to the extent report, okay? So like that, okay, this, these are like methods, okay, finally on finish, we have to generate the report, okay, for flush, without flushing, the report will not be created, okay, uh, report will be created, but you will not see any results in the report until you flush, all these activities, whatever we uh, tracked and all, will be done only after flushing, okay, so this is the case, so simply, at a high level, if I have to explain, listeners, that is test engine listeners, can listen to the events triggered by the test engine test like test passed, test failed, test skipped, test started, test uh, finished execution and so on. Based on the uh, 
uh, based on the events, appropriate listener methods, messenger listeners methods will be invoked and whatever we want to do when such events gets triggered, we'll write some code in the test engine listener methods and accordingly the things will happen, okay? We generally use this test engine listener methods for logging purpose, for taking the screenshots for the failed test and for generating the report and so on. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.